Okay, welcome to another um, video on the Microsoft Academic Course Lab Manual of Administering Windows Server 2012 R2 in preparation for exam 70-411. So now that we have our images set up, we're going to go ahead and start on lab one, which is deploying and managing server images. And we are going to get started with There it is, exercise 1.1, installing and configuring Windows deployment services. So we're going to go ahead and log into server one, and we're going to add our Windows deployment services. So let's make sure we are logged into our WDC. We'll go ahead and log in as Contoso Administrator. And then we'll jump over to Server 1, Other User. I'll pause this while I wait for everything to boot up. All right, now we'll go ahead and click on Manage. Add Rules and Features. And then Next. And we're going to do Next again. And Next again. And under Select Server Roles, We want to scroll all the way down to Windows Deployment Services. Then Add Features. And then Next. 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 We want to make sure that Deployment Server is selected, and it is. And transport server is also selected. We're going to click on next and then install. And I'll go ahead and pause the video while we wait for this to complete. All right, we'll go ahead and click on close and then tools and then scroll down to Windows Deployment Services. That'll open up the console. We want to go ahead and expand the servers and then click on server01.contoso.com. So I'm going to go ahead and expand that and then right click and we're going to configure the server. And then next. We do want to do integrating with Active Directory, which is already selected. And then next, on the remote installation folder location, we want to, and if you're required to do so, go ahead and take a screenshot here. And we can also answer questions one and two that are located in the lab manual. What is the default path of the remote installation folder? And why is the default location not recommended? And we'll go ahead and click on Next. And then Yes. On the PXE server initial settings page, we're going to select Respond to All Client Computers. Known and Unknown. And then click on Next.
And now we want to deselect that image of the server row. And then finish. And if you're required to do so, you would take your next screenshot here. And that is the end of exercise.